As Central Texas continues to see more cases, hospitals have to be extremely cautious when allowing visitors, even if they have family in the ICU. But now one woman is struggling to understand what a local hospital policy is. Six News reporter Andrew Moore explains for us tonight. Andrew. Yeah, that's right. Local woman Brittany Burns told us today Baylor Scott and White told her she couldn't visit her husband in the hospital unless he was about to die. And that's just one example of what families are going through. They kept telling me the only way you're allowed up here is if, you're t if your husband's 24 hours away from death. Three weeks ago, Brittany Burns' husband, Micah, was diagnosed with leukemia and transferred to Baylor Scott and White in Temple. She was willing to do whatever it took to be by his side. I offered to get tested for COVID. I offered to wear a hazmat suit. You know, I won't leave the room. But for two weeks, the answer was no. Then Micah got fluid in his lungs and was rushed to the ICU. Burns was finally allowed to see him for 30 minutes. So you're thinking, am I ever going to see him after this? And then you're rushed out and everything, and, and you got to leave, you got to leave. Fortunately, Micah's condition improved, but with new COVID cases appearing every day, hospitals must be extremely careful who they allow through the doors. Baylor Scott and White now has a no visitor policy with five exceptions for visitors over 16. The exceptions are when visiting pediatric patients, patients going through labor, patients undergoing a surgery or procedure, patients with disabilities, or patients receiving end of life care. The hospital told us today to contact patient relations for an exception, but Burns says it's not that easy. Call them and they said, well, management or a doctor can approve it. And when you talk to a manager, they say, well, it has to be a doctor. You talk to a doctor, it has to be a manager. And she says that process needs to be clearer at a time when patients need family the most. Burns says her husband has improved some, but now he's facing several procedures. So she was allowed to return to Scott and White yesterday to make decisions for his care. Andrew Moore, 6 News. Meantime, Baylor Scott and White could not provide an interview for 6 News today. They could not tell us if that 30-minute policy was typical or not.